And some people who came out today to see the former president waited more than 24 hours to get inside. 13 on your side, Nathan Lee is also covering the rally today. He joins us live there. Nathan, with the security so tight, did everything go smoothly along today? a more unsafe America because of the Democrats. Well, everything went about as good as it could for us, but you could tell that these guys are not joking around. Secret Service had set up over a dozen metal detectors. They were going through Here's people's bags. News, they had President. dogs searching those bags as well. You they were going through people's wallets, States, but the energy here has been insane. Now, we've seen this type of energy both yesterday night and this we morning. You can see behind me, Van Andel Arena is packed. Now, we were told that this arena houses about 12,000 people. It looks to be about full today, plus those seats in the ground. The lines outside the venue were huge this morning, snaking around the entire front entrance to the Van Andel Arena. Fulton Street just in front was blocked off with hundreds of supporters walking in the street. And even though some people spent the night waiting in line, the energy again was high. The first time at a rally, J.D. Vance spoke as well, mentioning the former president's attempted assassination last week. Many supporters told me they feel emboldened after the assassination attempt, saying that they are more sure than ever that the former president has their vote. You, you saw what happened last week. I mean, we didn't flinch. We didn't run. And, and, and we're not going to stop coming to the rallies. And now it's critical. Uh, he's our man. They want him dead. And, uh, you know, he's our hero. And, and we're here to support him. Law and order again. We will make. America now, uh, what we did not see outside when we were walking in were people protesting against uh, former president, president being here. Uh, but uh, later tonight, we will be speaking with our more of the people in this rally uh, about how they feel about uh, what the former president said. Now, uh, we'll have a full report of that back at 13 on your side at 11 p.m. tonight. In Grand Rapids, Nathan Lee, 13 on your side. Nathan, thank you. And this